Hey, 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 hey. Um, we're back with the daily reflections for, what day is it? Wednesday, the 22nd of November. And uh, it's a really interesting one. It's a, I read it this morning when we did our group meditation here at the house. And, and uh, anyway, here we go. It, it's titled, Only Two Sins. And the reading is from the big book on page uh, um, 342, I think it is. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the eyes lately. I had to go buy these readers. They're 125s, and maybe I should have got 150s. Anyway, it says there are only two sins. The first is to interfere with the growth of another human being. The second is to interfere with one's own growth. It's deep. That's deep. I'm going to read it again. There are only two sins. The first is to interfere with the growth of another human being. And the second is to interfere with one's own growth. Actually, page 542, third edition, the Alcohol, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous Big Book. I'm going to have to go to that and kind of read around that and see what the context is. Um, and then it goes on to say, happiness is such an elusive state. How often do my prayers for others involve hidden prayers for my own agenda? Boom. So maybe we could interfere with somebody's growth through our prayers. My own agenda. How often is my search for happiness a boulder in the path of my growth for another or even myself? My search for happiness, a boulder in the path of growth for myself or, or for, other, for another or myself. Seeking growth through humility and acceptance brings things that appear to be anything but good, wholesome and vital. Yet, in looking back, I see that pain, struggles and setbacks have all contributed eventually to serenity through growth in the program. Get that. I ask my higher power to help me not cause another's another's lack of growth today, or my own. Okay. So maybe, you know, if it, maybe it's referring to when we enable others. Sometimes, uh, boy, I see it a lot with, with parents uh, who are terrified that their kid is going to have to feel some discomfort or pain, and, and they soften the blow, and in softening the blow, uh, keep their... Their, their, their child, who is often in his 40s, uh, from feeling it. So maybe this is what they're referring to. Um, uh, it, is that, you know, so often we're, we're hoping that others won't have to go through the pain. And, and yet the pain is, is, seems to be necessary. God knows uh, I'm grateful for mine, and, and there's been a fair amount of it. And you can all, you know, as you see anybody that has any wisdom, you know that they've, they've you know, eaten the dirt. They've, they've, they've had, uh, uh, wisdom doesn't come cheap. Wisdom doesn't come cheap. So, yeah, maybe the thing that they're referring to is uh, how we sometimes soften the blow look after, caretake, enable others, and which keeps them from their growth. Something to consider. Okay, love you guys lots. Um, that's it. Cheers, have a great one. We'll talk soon.